over Brick Quilt Connection here. We're here to demonstrate a video for interlocking square block number nine. All right, we're going to start by making the center of the square. And we start with four of our background squares that are two and a half inches and four two inch rust squares. You're going to draw a line diagonally, corner to corner. And then you're going to stitch it down. You're going to place it in the corner, in one corner, and then you're going to sew on the inside edge of that towards the smaller side. Then when you're done, you will press it back and make sure that it matches the, the original dimensions of your square. Um, then you will trim a quarter of an inch away and two of them you will press towards the rest and two of them you will press towards the background. That's because you're going to then sew them together into a square and make them into a four patch. So that way they will all um, interlock with each other. And these two I've already sewn together and you can see that the seams interlock. And um, okay, so you'll make your you'll make your center square, you'll make it into a four patch, you'll swirl your center like we always do. And this four patch should measure four and a half inches when we're done. All right, then step two, you're going to do a snowballed corner on the gold rectangles, which are six and a half by two and a half. So again, you're going to use green two and a half inch squares and you're going to draw a line corner to corner diagonally and do the same step sewing right on the inside of that line. And then you will press it towards the green. Of course, you'll trim off a quarter of an inch away. You're going to do four of these and make sure that they are all done identically. And there is a picture in your pattern that shows exactly where which direction they need to be going and just make sure you do all of them the same. All right, then on the other end, the opposite end from the green, you're gonna take two and a half inch squares of background and sew them to the opposite end and you're going to press it towards the gold. And again, you're doing four of those. All right, then the next step is making four at a time flying geese, which there is a separate video for that, and there's also a tip sheet that's part of your pattern. Um, so you will be making those out of a large green square that is five and a fourth inches, and you're going to be using four background squares that are two and seven eighths. All right, when you've made the four, um, then in the pattern, it refers to having the goose pointed towards the sky. And this is the goose, and this is the sky. So when they say pointing towards the sky, it's pointing towards this. So then you'll sew your background rectangle that is four and a half by two and a half. You're going to sew that to the, um, to the side of that goose unit. And again, you're going to make four of those, just alike. All right, then you will sew a unit that you made in step three to a unit that you make in step four, no, five. And you're gonna sew those two together. Make sure that the greens are both on the same end and you end up with a unit that looks like this and you press it towards the background piece. All right, then you're ready to, and you're going to do four of those. Then you're ready to assemble your block. And we will be using a technique called partial seaming, which we have not done previously in this series. You're going to have to pretend that this is a four patch. And um, you, will, you will line it up on this unit here, on the green end. And you will start about halfway. It doesn't really matter how far up you go, but you're going to start and sew out to the edge. This end then is left loose, and you'll attach it later. All right, so then you're going to press it away from the center. And again, this, this would be a four patch, so use your imagination. All right, so then you're going to do your next, add on your next piece. These seams here will nest with each other, 
again, this will be a four patch. So by the time you take the seams off of that, this piece will be the same size as, as your previously made piece, okay? So then you're gonna sew that on. You're gonna sew it all the way. Press it back. Then you're gonna take your next piece and do the same thing. And again, you know, this is your four patch. So this will fit along here and you're gonna seam that. And then you just have one more to go. Um, and that will be this one here. Okay, when you're sewing this last one, this is still loose. So you're gonna sew all the way to this edge right here. Okay, so all of the center is now enclosed but you still have this tail hanging here. So you will take that and you'll fold it back and then you will complete sewing that seam. So then that becomes a completely finished interlocking square. That's it. Thank you very much.